Now, in many cases, we tend to have our relationships sparkle harder at the beginning, and then that slowly fades with time. Now, have you ever thought of what you could do in order to remedy that? In this video, we shall be discussing about 10 ways to keep your relationship hard throughout the entire period. But first things first, let's roll the intro. What's up everybody, welcome to Niche TV Vlogs, of course, this is a channel where we're all about relationship nurturing and growing, making our relationships workable, enjoyable, and long-lasting, of course, so hit the subscribe button if you find that interesting to you in order to join the Niche TV family, and also turn on the notification bell, so as I notify you each and every moment that I drop a new video. So like I said, in this video, we shall be discussing about 10 ways to keep your spark up in your relationship hot, and we're getting started right now point number one to keep our relationship hard is communication of course for any relationship to work out successfully communication is needed not just communication but we're talking about effective communication this is the reason as to why couples who are happily married make sure that they always express their feelings and thoughts to each other through a mature talk and that is where the issue of effective communication comes in let us know how to express ourselves towards our partners number two forgiving each other we all know that no one was born perfect we all have potentials and weaknesses we all have our flaws as well as a couple let us develop a habit of not holding on offenses but instead always make room for love forgiveness and reconciliation I understand that uh, at some point, you know, uh, rather in some instances, it's very hard for us to forgive our partners because of what they do towards us. But let's always remember that the more we forgive, the stronger your relationship is going to be at the long run. Point number three, accept each other just the way they are. Acceptance is one of the key ingredients of any relationship. And I mean, how can you even fall in love with someone you don't accept the way he or she is? That is definitely an absolute lie and it's impossible at the same time. So in order for your relationship to work out perfectly, you need to accept both the strength and weaknesses of your partner and work towards improving yourself as a couple. Point number four, make time for yourselves. Trust you mean nothing is so heartbreaking like, you know, making time for someone who's not ready to pay back the favor by making time for you in return, you know. In order to keep our relationship strong as a couple, you should make out for yourselves. At times go on vacations, go on dates, or even engage with, you know, whatever you like doing, be it swimming, be it, you know, gaming, anything that you like doing sometimes. Just make time and do what you like doing. That's going to boost the level of intimacy in our relationship. Well, this connected to the next point, which is keep romance alive. Keeping romance alive. But before we proceed, I'd like to request you to take a second or two so as you can like this video because it really goes a long way towards supporting this channel. Just a second. Smash the like button until it turns blue. Exactly like that. Thank you in advance. Now back to the video, for relationships to stay super fresh and sweet, we need romance, which is a very important spice. And we always need to make efforts to see that the romance sparks never go out. Well, point number six, resolve your conflicts. You know, being in a relationship doesn't mean that you don't want to have conflicts. We need to expect that. For any serious relationship to work out well, we need to expect conflicts due to the conflict of interest at some point because, you know, sometimes your love's going to say, baby, I don't like whatever you did and you need to change these. And that's going to lead uh, sometimes to into a conflict. If we are to thrive in the world of relationship, then we need to stop dwelling on issues likely to spark conflict. We need not to give room to any offenses next point is listen to each other 
is an art that is so important, but more often than not, we take it for granted. Couples who listen to each other learn more and more because of that. They work on improving themselves daily. <laughs> Another point to consider is always encourage each other. Couples whose relationship will stand the test of time are those who capitalize on their strength and seek means and ways to improve, improve their areas of weaknesses. What does this mean? What it means is that they basically don't waste a lot of time on blaming each other for their faults, but instead they build their capacity to achieve more by encouraging one another. And this, this is something that is so motivating. Just imagine having someone who always tells you, baby, I got you. What a blessing is that in your life? Always encourage each other. No matter what the situation is, always encourage one another. On to our next and second last point. Always avoid assumptions. Never work on assumptions. Assumptions can destroy a relationship if not well handled. And that is the reason to why it is very important for any couples to avoid working on assumptions. We should always seek to clarify issues that we ensure by communicating. This helps us, especially in clearing any doubts that we may have in our relationships. And finally, our last but not least point of the day is trust each other. Trust is an important ingredient in every successful relationship. It's very important to love your partner unconditionally and share without holding back if there is no trust that exists between the two of you. That is the reason to why, you know, more happy couples are those that have learned to trust themselves. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end. I really appreciate you taking time and watching this video. Kindly take a minute, share, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't for more content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.